Uh, Carolyn looked at my LinkedIn page and uh, I gave her a little phone call. <laughs> Shocking, eh, Carolyn? They're murdering everyone on purpose. <laughs> Everybody seems to think it's normal. Huh? Eh? <laughs> and a five year old child knows what they're doing is nothing but mass murder, and you could be next. <laughs> think about it, people. This is costing you hundreds of millions of dollars bankrupting your health care. Planet A. Hello, this is Gary Thompson. I'm looking for uh, Carolyn at Plant. Yes, Carolyn, this is Gary Thompson. I know. Howdy, I noticed you looked at my LinkedIn page. Yeah. Yeah, they've taught millions of people all the signs of respiratory emergency, deny, rescue, breathe, and give chest compressions to a beating heart. Yeah. Well, that's not good. Because you teach people to do that, and they do that. Oh, I know. I don't teach them to do that. <laughs> I know. Well, the, pe the people that taught them to do it at the first place, they, these are doctors. They knew it was wrong right from the very beginning. Yeah. So what their plan is, the only people that are making a benefit out of this is Big Pharma. Because I watched them all make themselves physically and emotionally ill. Right. So, uh, I don't know. I can't find any brain cells. You know, they're teaching people to do this, and it can backfire and happen to them. Injury oh, or... Yeah. <laughs> so, can you think of somebody that's got a brain cell and can stop that? <laughs> Uh, Toronto. Uh, okay, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, um, you know, as you know, the, the fire service gets its marching orders from the Ministry of Health. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So the Ministry of Health is the one that sets all the guidelines. Right? I know. They have, there was a coroner's inquest that ended December 20th. Sean Court, the Director of Policy for the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care, on the stand being questioned by the city lawyers i don't know i don't know i don't know i want my lawyers go ask eric Koskins. jerry wow. goes that man's guilty yeah absolutely yeah no i don't you know um I, there's there's a whole bunch of of committees and coalitions and things around this whole emergency medical response, right? Yeah. And um, I kept trying to think of who, who would be the keepers of the gate key on that one. Well, it's David Williams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I talked to him. He's like a stone cold killer. I talked to him about it. He sits there, not a bat of the eye, not a drop of emotion. Yeah. Just like a oh, stone cold killer from the penitentiary. Yeah. Uh, he's a perfect bureaucrat. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's crazy as a loon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Absolutely. Sorry, I can't think of anyone. Well, okay. Oh, I'll no. get, you got my number? Did my number show up? Okay, yeah. then call me up if you can find somebody that, you know. Like yeah. the press, Diana Swain of the CBC, the lead investigative reporter, she phoned me up. We can't talk about that on the air, Gary. That's mass murder done by doctors. That's the press. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I'm having too much fun. Psych <laughs> well, a psychiatrist in my neuroscience class, she's taken upgrading, eh? She's yeah. She says, Gary's the sanest person in the whole province trying to stop mass murder. I says, what about you, doctor? She says, leave my name out of it. And I says, there's none of that. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants their stamp on it. Yeah. I know. Well, I would. I don't look at because I've run into parents giving their children chest compressions. Yeah. Seizures, knocked unconscious, diabetic comas. Just following orders, right? Yeah. 
There's been parents that have committed suicide after they found out they killed their own children. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. Absolutely. True. All right. Well, I have your contact, so if I come across somebody that I think could be influential, I'll certainly pass it on to you. Yeah. I've talked to David Renwick, the general manager at App Farm, the manufacturer in Loxone. Yeah. Yeah. He says his hands are tied. In, two th yeah. in 2011, I phoned up Sandoz Pharmaceuticals, the manufacturers of the intermuscular. Yeah. He says, well, Gary, it's off-label, whatever they're doing. And I says, well, okay, when this winds up in a class action suit, I'm going to make the plaintiffs fully aware Sandoz knew about it and didn't do anything. Don't yeah. threaten Sandoz. I says, I'm not threatening Sandoz. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid yeah. buggers. <laughs> oh, I know. You I've too. Got a meeting shortly, yeah. So have I'm a, gonna need to let you go, but yeah. Have a great week, eh? Yeah, you too. Great to connect. Thank yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Right. See, there's somebody that's got a brain cell. <laughs> hey, Lan C. She's a doctor. And she works in public safety. She's a P and H and D and everything. <laughs>